chose to depart. Another master plan of Mount Lingshan. Once a man, no Guai. Death was his relief. Oh, it's you. You're still alive. And I see you've slain one of my captains and helped yourself to break in. Four loyal captains. Now four bewildered souls. Can you free them from that pain if you truly are the destined one? Thank you for bringing them back. <clears throat> Their suffering has ended. When I left home young, I too saw myself as destined. But look at me. And the destiny of those who followed my cause. Take this. I don't need it anymore. Great Sage is dead. But what's the difference between... Who are you? Wait, you won't eat me, will you? Oh, I was, I was on a treasure hunt, but I ended up being the hunted. I owe you my life, sir. I'll share the treasure with you once I find it. What? Say, why is there nothing but Yaoguais in this so-called Buddha's realm? Can I look to you to save me again, sir, if they come back? Green without. Round and sweet, red within, a summer treat. Where can I find something like that in this frozen land? Green without, round, where can I find something like that in this frozen...
dead if it weren't for you. I heard that Buddha planted watermelons here hundreds of years ago. One bite grants prolonged life. Yet, when the cold bites all around, without your powerful spells, uh, there's no way I can find it. Someone once saw a chubby boy jump from the cliff with a watermelon in his arms. He rushed to the edge of the cliff but saw no movement down there. Seemed like certain death. But suddenly... He heard the boy laughing from beneath, on and on. Bewildered, he fled from the cliff. This story may offer a clue for my treasure hunt. Maybe the watermelons were planted under the cliff. Uh, don't let me keep you, sir. I will leave by myself when I feel warm enough. This story may be the... Don't let me keep... I will leave by myself when I... Time and again, I tested you, and I saw nothing but gullible goodness. <sighs> Our brother does misjudge as well. It requires no effort to trick you. You will never be the destined one. Let me help you end your sorry life.
Nothing more. I've done as our brother asked. Till we meet again. Your faith has led you here. <laughs> Rest easy. You won't find those noisy chantings and pain screamings here. Hmm. <clears throat> A nice, ripe melon. Want a bite? Mm. It's better than you think. Sun Wukong used it to trick that disciple of mine. Come. Come closer. Now you've found this place. I'll teach you a trick neither of them knows. Your hand. <laughs> Spellbinder. It hurts no foe, but binds yourself. You'll come to understand its use. An old friend of Sun Wukong came to me, wanting some peace. I led him to the Great Pagoda. Have you paid him a visit? <laughs> they say you are the destined one. But if destiny is set, what difference do our actions make? Kind sir, pause your steps and heed my story. I was a fox guy who practiced to become one of the humans. One day, I was foraging for food and found myself caught in a hunter's trap. A young scholar saved me and kept me in his home to let me heal. I couldn't move, yet my heart swelled with gratitude. I thought I could aid him in his coup. Little did I foresee that following a dream, he would take my life. My soul lingered, yet he left without a trick. I sought tirelessly, only to find he had become a monk in the new Thunderclap temple. I beg you, sir, to take my fur and wear my form. Confront him and calm my sorrowful heart. He's hiding in the side hall of the temple. Kind sir, will you lead me to him?
kill. A ghost wants you dead already. For years, I prayed you'd find peace. Still, you come to take my life in penance against yours. You wouldn't understand my agony when I took your life. The Buddha sees no such vengeance. I shall usher you to the beyond once more.
Mortals and Yao Guai's walk different paths, but it's after seeing him again that I understood. Those who fear Yao Guai's are fouler than what they fear.
<laughs> no chance at immortality! <laughs> and force to suffer your torment! <laughs> <laughs> this old log can hardly move a muscle as he is. <laughs> Only one of Shoe Dog's resurrection pills can save me now. <laughs> ah! Why are you still here? <laughs> this old log is living on borrowed time. Oh, the pain. <laughs> Shoe Dog loves his medicinal arts, even his nature. He's surely tending the furnace flames somewhere. May Lord Lao illuminate you. Your grim face alone speaks for that old Long's bullying. <laughs> Pray refrain from blaming him. His ill temper persists unaltered since the first day of our long acquaintance. Regret not, for his power endures. His desire be but one more pill, gladly bestowed by me. The young may yet be taught. Mm -hmm. <laughs> With this pill, I'll gain the strength to unseal that precious place, the Painted Realm. A peaceful haven I built with my fellow deities. Now the monkey is in place, we should gather once more. <laughs> Self-refinement is the way to make golden. Oh, 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 many thanks for reuniting us here, brave one. <sighs> this is a perfect place for my art. I've long yearned to come back. Henceforth, brave one, come timely to fetch medicines. This is a token of my gratitude. It retains the energy of both this world and beyond. Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> Fancy! <laughs> oh, my, my. <clears throat> I've turned to drink since my descent. I thought I'd never see those friends again. But here I am. Back to the painted realm. 
Now I'll drink with my friends in this hideaway. Who needs to fight for a journey? <laughs> oh, there's no going back to the court now. <laughs> now all the zodiac deities may come and go. <laughs> hey, don't make light of our kind. Without our assistance on such an arduous journey, it may be too hard for you to complete. It's rare for strangers to gain entry here. Seeing our paths crossed, I brought you in. From seed to sprout to fruit to harvest, patience is the path to follow. As they say, fine soil yields fine sprouts, and fine sprouts spare f uh, Leaving so soon... <laughs> The scrap you're all in can stay no more. What rags and tat? Edge sharpened. Arm restless. I was looking for someone to test it. Mark me. This blade is cast from the best metal. Don't blame me if you hurt yourself. So soon. Give it here. I'll get to pounding.
Spot. You don't look like a Yagwai from these parts. Uh, have you come to earn the Blackwind King's favor? Uh, hear me. That bear is but a hollow shell. He can grant you nothing. Don't waste your time on him. He lies about cheating death and even the treasures. His followers are, all of them, deceived. Blackwing Gwai is a sly one. He preaches virtue with a heart full of greed. Oh, I wouldn't entrust him with my plea. I don't know why you are here, but you should be vigilant. Now, I'm pressed for time. I don't know why. Now, I'm pressed for time. Very be well. Mounted to here, we meet again. Those rats. They tied me up on sight for no reason. Joking, they prepare me for their king's table. Ah, this place. But don't worry. If they bite into me, they'll bite more than they can chew. This place is a jumble of rats and cats, all at each other's throats. And the Yellow Wind Sage keeps silent. How odd. Who would swear fealty to such a king? Let's make haste and go. Never linger at a peril such as this. Just leave. These rats are no match for me. And I can make my own way out. You are a skinny one. But these rats aren't picky eaters. Flee. The quicker the better. I won't die here with my task undone. There are too many eyes around here. We'll meet again if fate wills it.
My friend! Yellow Wind Ridge offered me nothing. Yellow Brow, the Buddha, was my next plea. Only after meeting his grace in the New West did I see. I wasted my life for others and missed much joy. No more journey now. My king is suffering, yes. But does one not weave the threads of one's destiny? Peace is living for yourself. His grace speaks true in this joy. It's new to me, like never before. Ah. <sighs> My king once sought wisdom in such a Dharma place. His son, too, was a disciple of a Bodhisattva. Now I, too, walk on this path. I hope I'm following in my king's steps. Say, my friend, why don't you stay here and tread this path with me? My king once sought with now I say. So.